hello guys welcome to today's video um, in today's video we are going to learn on how to design um, a flyer in Photoshop okay so first off if you are trying to design a flyer you first of all need to know what you are doing okay so you get the information from the client now today we, uh, we are going to start with birthday flyers so that is why I want I want us to start from basic as we move on to more complex designs okay so we are going to start with a birthday design so for you when you receive a detail that okay we need a birthday flyer for a friend or if you want to create a birthday flyer for a friend the first thing you need to do the first thing you need to do is you go to your web browser and then you type in pinterest.com pinterest.com so when you go to pinterest.com then you search in birthday flyer design so here we are going to search for a design inspiration so normally um, when you are learning to design that is how you should learn how to design from the start you learn how to imitate okay you learn how to imitate um, other uh, other good designers was design you imitate them and then uh, after you are you, you are good with the tools and you're proficient with them and you think you are good enough then you start iterating so with iteration comes in that's when you pick you pick one design two design three design you bring them together add your own that is the iteration stage now but now that you're a beginner it is very advisable that you pick um, a good designer's design and imitate it <coughs> try as much as possible to create almost the same thing all right try as much as possible to create almost the same thing and gradually gradually you start developing your own style okay so when you come here we look for you type in birthday flyer design and then you look through the one that looks nice to you but for me right now i'm going to choose something that is going to be very simple for us okay so i'm going to pick this first design here this one it is very very simple and we all can do it by the end of this video so this is what we want to do so we are going to what click on these three dots and download this image good now let's go to photoshop now when you open photoshop for the first time if this is your first time this part here are your recent projects your recent designs and then on your left part you see create new and open button at the top here are your options menu buttons where you have file that's when you want to create a new file open om and already existing file edit image layer type select filter 3d view window and help okay so when we are when you come here the first thing you're going to do is to click on the create new button when you click on the create new button this box this window should what appear it should pop up so when it pop up you go to art and illustration because we want a square if your machine's graphics is good you can go for 2000 by 2000 if your machine's graphics is not good enough and it's your machine lags it's better to go for the 1000 by 1000 okay so i can i'll go with a 1000 by 1000 and then you click on create so when you click on create it will open up photoshop will open up this project uh, in a the window so uh, when you open up like this some of you might not be seeing this layout so let me reset to default here my default layout um, the photoshop default layout so reset essential so yeah this is what you are going to see all right so what you are seeing right now you can rearrange your panels okay so you can rearrange so what are the panels you see this thing here it's a panel see it has a color i can move it when i click on the name color click and drag i can move it around when i click on the name pattern click and drag i can move it around when i click on the name gradient i can move it around all right when i click on the name swatches i can move it around but first of all the lane here right click on it click on close you don't need it the libraries here right click on it click on close you also don't need that so with this we cannot keep these panels on our working area okay so 
what we are going to do is remove this over here so you realize that when i bring it here there is a blue highlight over here that means when i release the mouse that is where that panel is going to be placed okay so when i release like this realize that this panel is not here so if i need it i just click on this icon here then it comes okay now we come to gradient i can also add it here and then it will remain there and then the pattern tool i can bring it here good now my properties my layers i'm going to leave it here but you see here i can in, uh you can re increase like this and then reduce like this okay and then with this one too you can increase or reduce the length here so now we have more much space on our working area good yeah so you go to your pay attention over here go to your edits we are setting up our space so that um working with it today be difficult for us so you go to your edit go to your preferences and then go to general okay so when you come here you have these settings here and if you come to interface you can choose your photoshop to be white you can choose it to be gray dark gray or very dark all right you can choose how you want your interface to look so most beginners prefer this one i don't know why but uh people who have who, who, who work with photoshop a lot uh, for a very long time uh, it is advisable to use the dark mode okay so when it comes to the workspace we have auto collapse iconic panels yeah so that if you are using laptop to save space on your laptop um this uh, on the laptop screen you use the auto collapse icon uh panels so that when i click on this uh color here and it pops up when i start to do any other thing it, it goes back okay so i'm done with it so if i start working on my work it should go back right now there's another one that you should also do which is zoom with scroll wheel as a designer if you don't have a mouse please go and get a mouse so you zoom with the scroll wheel and then animated zoom and then you can also check the over over scroll this one so you check zoom with scroll wheel and check the over scroll okay now we move to file handling file handling normally the default is set to 10 set it to 5 5 minutes means that after every 5 minutes photoshop will automatically save your work for you okay after every 5 minutes so that when there's light out or you have a, 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 an issue with your machine it shuts down automatically you can recover up to the last 5 minutes okay if you set it to 10 minutes you can recover up to the last 10 minutes so that means for the past 10 minutes all that you've been doing i will see you see so it is advisable to do it five good now when you come to performance that is where you see when you see this use graphics card it means photoshop is has been able to identify your graphics card and that you can access some of the graphics um, card features there are some features if you don't have a graphics card you can you are not allowed to use in photoshop so yeah then you click on ok good so with the design that we, did, we downloaded we can bring it here so you just cl click and drag it to over the photoshop icon and drop it in here you see now you go to the top here you see um, a circle crossed one and then a check mark here click on the check mark that means you agree that it should be here so when you bring your image here now this is how you are going to imitate okay so you follow closely now this thing here we are going to learn how to put an image here like that so first of all you pick your rectangle tool so over here is your two panel over here are, are, are your tools okay so if i want to draw a rectangle click on the rectangle here come here and draw the rectangle like this okay so that is how to draw a rectangle it's not difficult just click and drag so let me draw the rectangle again so click on the rectangle come here click and drag to draw your rectangle as simple as that good yeah so now let's learn how to put in the image over here so we go in and look for our image that we want to use so if you have a friend's image you can use that uh but i'm i'm going to look for um, an image for myself uh so i'll use this image here this image 
good i don't know how it's going to uh, so when i bring this image here i'm going to drag it right on top of the rectangle here okay i'm going to drop it right on top of the rectangle and okay but then if it's not inside the rectangle we want to put it inside the rectangle okay so you come to your far right you see at the bottom here we have layers channels path the layers here are the list of um, elements on your design so photoshop keep a list of them so we have the design that we dropped first here we have the rectangle that we drew second here and we have the image we just dropped here good now we want to put the image we just dropped into the rectangle so what we do is right click on the image and then out of the options that pops up you just click on create clipping mask create clipping mask so you click on create clipping mask and now i have this here this image i have this image here now it is left with how to write happy birthday all right so uh for now i don't know what font they used but there's one there's one default font that i know most of us should have and that font is so you to let's let's learn how to add the text since you didn't see this so on the tools panel we have text two which is the t capital t so you click on the t now when you come here you just click once you realize that you have the text lorem ipsum highlighted here okay now i can start typing without doing anything so right after clicking once you start typing don't drag just click once and start typing so i can type happy and birthday over here so with this here i come here and then i want to change the font so the font that i was talking about is called b a n a b a h n script so ban script so you check the ban script bold or ban script um, bold contents you pick a font like that set it to left align like this good then we increase the size by dragging so so some of you i won't see that uh rectangle that it was around this you see i'm able to move this some of you might not see that rectangle around that so to find it you come to the top there you see show transform controls show transform controls so you click on it and check and now you see that there are this uh you know this control around it so with this control what i can do is i can click on the edges and drag oh good so i can click and drag on the edges good like that so i can click and drag like that if you want to zoom in like we uh, set up uh, at the beginning you, you we zoom in with what scroll wheel so with a scroll wheel you are able to zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out good good so with these parts i want to change the color to the color of the text over here but for me i one thing you should learn over here is that you don't you just, you just don't copy the colors blindly okay so what you can do over here is you are going to pick colors from the image or the colors from the photo that you are using okay so to pick colors from the photo you are using we have a tool called the color picker the color picker so when you come to your tools panel you see this icon color picker it's called eyedropper but i call it um you know other uh softwares we use color picker but sometimes we also ca call it color picker over here is named eyedropper so you click on this eyedropper tool and you select which color they want us to select we select this one this brown here so after selecting this brown here you can select your move tool back and then you go to your swatches okay so your swatches will have that color as the most recent color here so you just wait your come to your properties scroll down you see color click on it then come and select that color you just selected good now when it comes to your layers panel okay 
from your layers panel the design that we place on first we can you can see this eye icon you can turn it off and you can turn it on you can turn it off and you can turn it on good yeah so we turn it off to see our progress and this is how it's looking right very nice and decent so we continue with the message so what was the message i use the scroll to zoom in and i hold my space bar to you know click and drag around all right now i can bring in base text the text that is down here that says on this wonderful day so i click once remember you select a type to click once like this now at the top here we have the font size here that you can you reduce it to about 12 or 8 okay and we can reduce this to maybe semi bold and start typing so just type uh, let's type on this wonder I wish you the best I wish you the best that so the space between the top and then the down is too much so what do we do is what you are going to do is you go to your properties scroll down and you see this um, icon with A and A top and down so it's describing the line between the lines okay uh, the space between the lines sorry so you click on it since this is 8 you are going to pick either 8 or one that is 2 higher than 8 so either 8 or 10 okay you can pick 8 and it will be okay so so long as it's okay we maintain it and we say that life has to offer happy birthday all right so we have this so we can bring it here okay ah uh, so there is a font that i would like you to install and then the name of the font is montserrat all right the name of the font is montserrat so montserrat m o n c s e R R A T. So we use Montserrat medium for date text at the bottom here. Good. I'm not going to use the same color as this. I'm going to use you know, something like black. All right. So I can click the edges to reduce the size here. Now we zoom in. Now we can turn off the, the original design to see our progress. All right. And turn it on. Turn it off to see our progress. See the line spacing here is very the the, the letting here is very small, so I like it to increase it. So since this has been decreased to maybe let's say six, this information has been decreased to six. I think this space too should be increased to about six plus two, eight. Good. So something like this is okay now we can do this did you see what happened i duplicated it so how do we i do that I, how do we do that so what we do is the simple way is to come to your layers right click on it and then you see duplicate layer okay you don't see anything here but when you click and drag over it you see that here it has been duplicated and then you bring it here otherwise let's delete that by clicking delete and then you hold alt and drag that layer that you want to um, duplicate okay so you hold alt drag it and then you have a duplicate of it good yeah so now we have uh, from the original design it says that wishes you a eh. wishes you a eh. so let's turn it off so let's double click on the text here to edit it so wishes you eh. and it was all caps right so you come to your properties scroll down 
you will see capital T two two capital T's. So you click on that and then you accept this, right? Good. So I can select all these three and move them up together. Then I'll bring the logo I want to use over here. So if let's create uh, let me create one uh, logo yeah that we'll be using this so, so let me create another one let me create our own logo that we'll be using so uh, let me see. So you can create your own logo. Be feel free use circle. You can use squares, anyhow you want it. So let me reduce the font size, the height, uh, the leading here. Let me make this side bold. This side bold. Okay. So we have this. So as your basics, you should be able to do something like this, right? You should be able to do something like this for a friend, at least. It's very simple to do. Very, very simple to do. Very, very simple to do. Now, there's a, uh, the, this section, we are about to enter into a new section of this particular video. <coughs> so if you have not subscribed, please kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel. Now, this part we are going to do, uh, we are going to um, learn about this, how you are going to make this design pop, okay? How to make the design pop or how to add something to it that will make it a little bit nicer, okay? So what can we do? First of all, is what you are going to do is called adding gradients instead of using raw colors, all right? We use gradients. So with this happy birthday here, we can use a gradient, okay? How do you mean? Uh, how? What do I mean by a gradient? A gradient is the combination of two colors, okay, blending together. So I select the name, um, the Happy Birthday. Come to FX, then I click on Gradient Overlay. So when I click on Gradient Overlay, this appears, okay. So you click on this name gradient, and you click on this name gradient. This also pops up. Don't be afraid, uh, there's not anything uh, to be afraid of. So, you just two colors you're going to blend, alright? So, you select the one on the left, then you pick one color, select the one on the right, then you pick one color, okay? Then you have two colors blending together, alright? So, I can click OK. Now, you come to this side. You see we have something called reverse reverse means i want the lighter part to go to the um the darker part and the darker part comes to the lighter part so i select reverse and realize that We have something like this, alright. Now, 
this space here the space here is looking empty so what we can do is we go online and we search for something that we can put there so what can we put there we can put a flower all right so we type flower then add the word png enter okay so we have this here so you come to your images then you come and look for the flower that you like all right so the flower that you like you pick that flower so Here we can select this so click on this list me to the main page then click on download this PNG and it should download so right after downloading I can click and drag it to Photoshop All right so you see this when I brought it here it was facing like this so I click and drag the edges to, you know, to reduce the size I can right click and you see flip horizontal flip vertical so you can flip horizontal then you get something like this over here right then click OK so you see uh, let me see so let me show you before and after so this was before and this is after okay let me bring it here so you see it well so before and after so you see how we are able to add something to our design here so you can add more keep adding more to make it look nicer 